free subscription boxes to go through with you guys. So if you are a subscription box fan, you're gonna love it. If you're not, you're gonna hate it. So choose wisely if you wanna watch the video. However, okay, so I have a mini box to share with you, a star box to share with you, and then a tea subscription box to share with you. Uh, this I'm gonna start with that one because I could not be more excited about it. it. The brand is, or the company I guess, is called the Cozy Mug. And this is my very first experience getting one of these. And I am so excited to see what's inside because I freaking love tea. Love me your phrase. I love tea, I also love coffee. And I just recently learned they also have a coffee subscription box. So I'm like, maybe I need both. <laughs> I love them both. And my boyfriend actually like, well he loves coffee, but he likes tea too. So it's gonna, oh, I'm just so excited. So I can't wait to see what's in here. So, opening the box up. These are by the way are $19.95 a month. But I think about what I spend on coffee and tea anyway, and I'm like, it's not that bad. I mean, okay, so first thing I'm seeing is this Full Moon Spice Black Tea, and this is loose tea, I can tell. Um, let's see, I see another one that's even bigger, Fairy Tale Dreams Herbal Tea. Okay, so I'm a much bigger fan of the herbal tea than I am of black tea, but I, uh, black tea's okay. I have to be in the mood for that, you know. But um, really excited, I'm excited that the herbal tea has more in it. But um, if you don't have, I wonder. Okay, it looks, oh my gosh, okay, wait, I gotta. <laughs> These must be like stirring spoons, um, you know, to kind of sweeten your tea up, but one of them is in the shape of a teapot. What is, this card said some stuff. I wasn't gonna read it, but now I wanna know. Um, blah, 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 blah. Where is it? Okay, it says assorted honey spoons or lollipops. These are so cute. Um, you'll have three spoons and surprise shapes and flavors. So I'm really excited about these. These are like big too. That is such a little treat. And then the last thing I'm seeing in, he in here is this baggie of things. So it looks, oh, is this a muslin? Okay, it comes, that's genius. It comes with a little muslin bag that you can put your loose tea in. So if you don't already have something to steep the loose tea, they give you something. And these are reusable. You just wash them, like rinse them out and reuse them. So that is awesome. And then... I'm a, oh yeah, these go with those loose tees, like their little twisty ties that you can use to close them to keep them fresh. So that is genius. Gosh, they covered their bases here. What else? So now these must be, yes, this is in a, I'm looking at it in the light. Yeah, this is a bagged tea. This is the Art of Tea White Tea Fusion White Coconut Cream with medium caffeine. And it comes, it, look, it says it's a pyramid sachet in there. I love the pyramid ones, they're cute. And then the next one is this Art of Tea Green Tea Jasmine Reserve. Oh my gosh, I love jasmine green tea, so I'm gonna love that one. So I'm really excited that they give you a mix of loose tea and bagged teas. And then this last thing, it looks like a lip product. Hemp Organics is the brand. It says Hemp Shine. And it appears to just be a waxy, you know, clear, completely clear, just lip balm. Um, but let's see what it says why they would include this. That's just kind of funny because it's not a beauty box, obviously. It says, um, it's a very healing lip balm, great for dry lips, filled with organic ingredients and the perfect protective coating to keep your lips <laughs> burn free while sipping your hot tea. That's really cute. This, whoa, this retails for $17.25. That's insane. Anyway, so that's everything that came in this box. This box is not the most adorable thing you've ever seen. Okay, so it says, we hope you enjoyed this month's box and are excited to get um, the July box out. It won't be long before our cozy autumn boxes ship. Ah! I love autumn. Are you guys autumn nerds like I am? Oh my gosh. And I just love even just the logo. This might be my favorite thing I've ever gotten. Ever. Oh my gosh. Okay, calm down. So, I feel I don't even know what else to say. I'm really excited because like you guys know, I know I mention every freaking video, but I'm sick and I'm tired of being sick. So this tea is just gonna be so nice with the little honey spoons. And now I'm really excited about the autumn boxes. <sighs> ah! Okay. You know what? That would be awesome for like gifts. If you know someone loves tea or something like that, that would be such an awesome gift to give them. The next thing I'm gonna open is this meme Mimi box, I always say meme box, it's Mimi box. But it literally has the word meme in it, that's very tricky. This is their Mimi box, global number 12. Like I said in the very first Mimi box video that I had, um, there, there just seems to be a ton of boxes they sell and it's not like a subscription, you buy them one at a time if you want them, this one's $23, most of them are. So 
let's see what's in this one. I don't know if it's makeup or what. I don't know. I'm not gonna look at the card, <laughs> even though I want to. All right, I'm gonna, wow. It is packed full of stuff. This first jonky thing, I meant like huge honking thing that sound, came out very weird. It's the Smooth Sensitive Removal Cream. Spray type removal cream. Um, it's, you can remove hair anywhere it says. Okay, I mean, I'm willing to try. Spray type. It looks like it's, yeah, it is. It's like an aerosol spray. Okay. Ugh. It's like a lotion. So I don't want to like remove the hair on my hand. Ah! So there's that. We will see. It, okay, it comes with some of the little... It says it's licensed by the Korea Food and Drug Administration. It's sanitary aid. It's safe and won't harm your body. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm willing to try it because, gosh, if this worked, that would be amazing. Um, especially in the summertime. But, we'll see. I'm, I don't know. Is anyone... I'm curious. Because I'm always like, mm, about hair removal creams or whatever. Anyone have any experience with either this or any kind of hair removing cream that actually works? Because I'm always curious to try them, but I don't want to spend the money and then they not work and then I'm stuck with it, you know? So let me know if you found one that actually works and please let me know because that'd be awesome. The next thing, oh, this is so cute. The next thing, it looks like it's a nail polish. Elvita is the brand and it's this bright blue nail polish. I don't see like what the shade name is. Oh, Fashion Blue, it says. But it's cute, it's got this little elastic thing that has the, um, oopsie, flower on it. That's really cute. I just, aw. And you know what, I don't think I have a blue this color right now. Well, I might, but I'm trying to, I got rid of a lot of nail polish. I am down to like, not even, you know the spice rack that I use to put my nail polish in? I'm down to like, I feel like I'm only using two rows of it. Aren't you proud of me? And then the rest are like base coats and top coats. I have too many of those. But those I actually use, so I don't want to get rid of them because I'm like, well, I'll use those. But when I had more than one of the same color, I just picked my favorite and got rid of the rest because I'm never going to go through them all, ever. So anyway, so I've already done that. Um, so that's exciting. This next thing is called Plagentra. Looks like the word placenta. Plagentra White Mark Cream. What? <laughs> That's the one iffy thing about getting things, you know, from any other country when they're translating, it doesn't quite, things get lost in translation, don't they? Hmm. All right, let's see what it says, I gotta know. Well, it retails for $38, geez louise. Stretch marks! Cool! Okay, it's for stretch marks, you know what? One day I'm gonna have kids, I might save this. You think it'll still be good? I mean, I don't know when I'm gonna have kids, but. Um, it looks like, cause this is, says white mark too, it's like a, I'm assuming, or is it the same product? Yeah, just like pouches for travel, I don't know. All right, next thing, anti-hair loss treatment. And the rest is in Korean. <laughs> I feel like I'm like, I don't know. All right, apply generously over wet hair. So it says it prevents hair loss, re-energize and strengthen thin. You know what, that's nice because I feel like us ladies, we're always, that guy is back. Boy, he's trucking, but what is he carrying? It's like an elderly man, that's why I'm saying, good for you, buddy, get out there walking. But it's kind of stormy out, and he's carrying something huge, and he's now walked around the neighborhood like twice. I'm being nosy. Stop, Jess, it's not your business. Good for you, buddy. I'm still curious, though. <laughs> curious like a kitten. Okay. What I was saying was, you know, us ladies, we lose hair all the time, and I know it's natural to lose, you know, hair, but I feel like uh, part of me is like, I still freak out a little bit. So this might be nice to use maybe as a treatment every couple weeks or, you know, I don't think it'd be something I'd repurchase unless it was like amazing and I never lost any hair ever again, but I think it's healthy for you to lose your hair. All right, ooh, what is this? The packaging is adorable. It's the Claypatra Mineral Salt Clay Pack. What is, where do I use it? It looks like a really thick, you know, clay, like a mask. Is it a clay mask? Let's see. Retails for $21. 100% pure mud extracted straight from the Dead Sea. Okay, that's awesome. Removes excess sebum, dead skin, and external pollutants that are clogging up your pores. Yeah, you leave it on for 10 minutes and rinse it off. So it's a clay mask. That is awesome. You know I'm about to use the crap out of this. Mm, 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 mm. So that'll be nice. I might use that tonight. It's just kind of like a... Ah. 
Okay, the last thing in here, this was a lot of stuff, is the CrySense Professional Organic Hair Essence. So this whole thing was like a face and body thing, I guess. It wasn't really makeup like the last one, which is fine. I mean, that's nice to get a mixture. But what is this? What? It retails for $72. Who is paying that? Who has that kind of money? Okay. Towel dry after shampooing, apply this evenly throughout your hair. Um, dry your semi-wet hair to finish off. Ugh. So it, I'm assuming it's like a leave-in like conditioner or like a... Well, now I want to know. I like the packaging that it's like a pump like that. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's like a hair lotion, if you will. I can't really smell. Oh, no. I can smell that one. I was going to say, I can't smell anything because of my cold, but that one I can smell. That punches right through my clogged nose. Ooh. Um, so, okay. I'll try it. I mean, I like the packaging. I think it's um, going to be easy to use, which is kind of nice. Sometimes I get annoyed with like the, like right now I'm using that, um, that agave stuff with like the medicine dropper, if you will, or whatever, because it's a smaller size. I think the bigger size is a pump, but the smaller size has the little medicine dropper, so it sucks it up, and I just get annoyed. I feel like I get the oil everywhere, and I'm making a mess, and then the bottle's a mess, so this pump is going to be nice. I'm excited to give that a try. So that was everything in that. Certainly a lot of stuff, but again, it's, I don't know. I mean, I feel like a lot of the stuff I don't know if I'll use, or... So, but they were, they were nice enough to send it to me, and I'm excited to try some of it. Some of it I might pass on to friends, but I'll put a link below for this box if you are interested. And the last thing, sorry, this video is turning out to be longer than I had anticipated. The Starbucks. Now, this is for June, and Starbucks, it's $15 a month. What is going on in my neighborhood? There's like a Lynx, and I've seen this cat before. It's a cat, but it's like... Big. Like it literally looks like a lynx. Where'd it go? It's behind the tree. But it re it terrorizes Simba, my little pug. I have two pugs, but poor Simba. He'll be out there, and the other day he was barking at like at our side yard, just freaking out, just losing his mind. I'm like, dude, what's going on? So I go out. I'm like, calm down, buddy. What's going on? And then I look, and I see that freaking lynx cat hiding, like crouched in the bushes, just like like terrorizing Simba. It was. Hilarious. And you know that cat could tear Simba apart. I'm like, Simba, you better simmer down because when that com cat comes near you, you're going to run and cry and scream. You won't fight back because you're a baby. <laughs> anyway, okay, Star Looks. Woo! So all of their things come in their cute little white and black packaging, which I just think is cute. I know that sounds silly, but I love how simple it is. Is that weird? Whatever. Kind of like the MAC packaging is all black with white writing. I like that simplicity. Okay, so this scene, it's like a peach color. It's not cream blush. And it's in the shade Fallen Angel. And it looks, let me get it out. Yeah, it looks like this just kind of pale peach. I don't know. Swatching it, it looks like it might be more of like a cream highlight, which would kind of be nice because it has a little bit of color, but really it's more, looks like some condensation is grown on this. Looks like more um, like a highlight shade than a blush. I don't know how much use I'll get out of this, to be completely honest. It's not really a shade I would wear. I, you know what? It would probably be absolutely beautiful on people with darker skin. Because on me, are you kidding? That like blends right into my skin. I don't know. I'll try it as a cream highlight. All right, the next thing is the Infinity Lipstick. Please be a good color. Please, please, please. I'm tired. I feel like I always get reds from Star Looks. So I'm like, mm. Okay, this is in Limitless. Please be a pink or a peach. Mm. It's a dark, dark red. I just feel like I keep getting reds from them and it's not a color I'd wear. I mean, I like having a few reds to have options, but um, we did get, I think last month we got a lip liner that was that would go really well with this, so that's kind of nice. Maybe that was the idea behind it, but, and I like the packaging. I li actually like that, but I don't know if it's a color I'd wear. I might pass that on. We'll see, but I'll probably pass it on, but we'll see. <laughs> You guys know I'm decluttering, so this is hard. Like, I'm trying to be picky. I'm like, okay, what am I really going to keep? Because I'm, if I'm just going to get rid of it in two months, why even hold on to it now, you know? All right, the last thing in here is the Star Looks, well, what is it? Infinity Eyeliner. They keep sending these in sun. I would prefer liners that are colored to just be in stick form. It's just easier. I'm not going to get out a brush. I, I know myself. But you can use these also as cream shadows, so wow! That is a, like, pure, striking, golden yellow. That could actually be really pretty, and you know, that could be pretty like under a shadow, like under half-baked, just to add even more 
like va va voom to it. Yes, I just said va va voom. How old am I? <sighs> anyway, so this is not my favorite Starbucks. Not my favorite by far. But again, that's kind of the way it is, it seems, with any subscription box. There are awesome months and off months. Um, last month I really liked it, I think, if I remember correctly. I've liked the past few months from Starbucks, but this wasn't my favorite. They're just not really shades I would use. But hey, it comes with the territory. And again, Starlook sends these to me for free to review. So I like sharing it with you guys and letting you guys know, you know, what you'd be getting if you were to spend your money that way. So I'm thankful for that to all the companies that send me things, whether I loved the box that month or not. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. And if you enjoyed these types of videos, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys very soon. Bye.